Hi, I'm Nico, Nicolas Boiteau from Trellis Company, and I'm going to show you some tips to make advanced forms uh, in QGIS, which will be easy for users to be filled. I also will show you those forms in the web thanks to Lismap. We have no more configuration most of the time. Uh, this way you get more participation and less mistake in your data. First, with the QGIS drag and drop designer, we can decide which fields needs to be filled, change the fields order, create tabs and group boxes. Let's say we create a form of, uh, for a processing uh, campaign, but also for logged in, uh, uh, logged in users in this map, like people in our organization. Uh, this form may have uh, many fields, but many of them are not monetary, so we don't want to show them all. Uh, because when form seems too long to fill, uh, some users might give up and close it. Um, to avoid that, here we create a Boolean field called uh, as details with add details as an alias to have a more understandable title and define it as a checkbox. Um, we also create a details tab configured with a control visibility by expression to only display it when the as details checkbox is checked. Here is the result. As you can see, ah, it's better, thank you. You can also just click on the screen. Ah, okay. As you can see, details tab is only visible when add details is checked. Now we want people to upload photos, so we create fields defined with an attachment uh, widget type, and we have a filter to only display GPNG and PNG files. You can see in this map, uh, only files with defined extensions are displayed when selecting them. After file selection, uh, you can also rotate or crop images. It is way more convenient than to have to install a software for that. I missed that, sorry. <laughs> um, now, uh, when contributors are logged in this map, we can use their user login or user groups in forms expression thanks to expression variables. Uh, here we create an invisible login field uh, it is invisible, we don't put it uh, with the drag and drop designer on the middle part. And um, it will be filled automatically with the user login when the form will be saved. The value relation is very convenient to display a list of values from under the layer. But sometimes the list can be very long. In this example, we display scientific names for amphibians and reptiles in France. Uh, so, to each section, we could, for example, suggest the last previous record on top of the list for logged in users. For that, we create a, a layer from view with this SQL query. It is a union all with the last previous record for logged in users. Uh, it could be also the, the two, two or three or more records, but in this case, it's just the last. And the whole list of animals. Ah, I missed it. In red, the attribute table shows us the last record for Alice, Bob, and Demo users. The rest is the whole list of animals. Okay, so to only get the previous record for the logged in users in this map, we use this filter expression, which uses again the list map user expression variable. And as you can see now, when a logged in user saves a form, uh, is an as on top of the scientific name list, the last species suggested. It will come now, save. When the form is open again, a new form, you have here the last previous record. Finish. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.